Hi, well, I'm Stephen Nashaba, and I'm uh, here with part two of this uh, uh, couple of lectures. And uh, it's still about Boltzmann's distribution uh, when we're dealing with quantum mechanical um, um, molecules, uh, molecules un under which uh, quantum mechanics is valid, which means that there are discrete energy levels. And, uh, and uh, the idea is this, that we are told that we're at a certain temperature, therefore KT has a certain value, and um, and we would just like to know what is the total energy of the system, and then we'd also like to know, um, given that we are, are told that there's a certain uh, fraction of molecules in, say, that state versus that state, does it conform to the predictions of Boltzmann's theory? So in this case, uh, we're told that KT has a value of 0.417 epsilon. Now, according to my diagram here, that's uh, not even quite half of one of these state, uh, steps here. So there's what kt is, and therefore we would guess that um, the partition function q was about, you know, somewhere around 1. It looks like most of the molecules will be in this state, a few will be in that one, and even fewer upstairs. And uh, so, and now, then, uh, that uh, looks sort of more or less uh, consistent with this picture here. So I, I've given an occupation set here. I've said the number of molecules in, the, in that ground state there is 121, and then in the second state, we have uh, 11, and the third state we have 1. And uh, so, um, well, one thing that's good to do just to kind of get you warmed up on this is to say, uh, well, what's the total energy of the system? Well, um, I just count the number of molecules that are in uh, the ground state, multiply it by its energy, which is 0. Then there are now 11 molecules in the first state, which has the energy epsilon, and uh, add that to um, one molecule, which is in the second state, which has uh, an energy of two epsilon. And uh, if you add those all up, it looks like you get um, uh, 13 epsilon. So that's, that's the total energy. What about the ratio of populations? Well, according to this given configuration, the ratio of populations in state two versus state one, I would just say um, that must be 11 by divided by uh, 121, which if you calculate it, it turns out to be 0 0.0919. Okay, that's fine. Now, the, the, so the final question is, does that conform to uh, Boltzmann statistics? Well, in order to answer that question, we have to say, uh, what does Boltzmann predict? Okay, and um, for that one, we use the, the ratio of populations according to Boltzmann, and that would be P2 divided by P1, okay? Uh, I've already drawn in here the degeneracies of the first two uh, energy levels. Uh, there's just one state with that energy and one there. So G is one for both of those, so I put one over one. Uh, this is the energy of the uh, uh, state two uh, divided by KT, and state two, as you can see, has an energy of epsilon. Uh, state one has an energy of zero. Um, so really, we just have a ratio of two. Um, you know, we really end up with just that exponential factor and because that uh, denominator is 1, and if you go through that calculation, you get the same number, 0 0.0909, and uh, from which we conclude, yeah, indeed, the, uh, the given configuration of, of, uh, of populations is consistent uh, with the predictions of Boltzmann's theory. Now, if there had been some other uh, distribution, then uh, you, you would have to go through this whole calculation again. Okay.